Hello, my name is Miss Chelsea and I'm the site director over at our San Marcos Elementary School site. And today we are going to be doing our Tinker Tuesday project. It is going to be an art activity called Great Big Chompers. So basically what this project is going to do is we are taking a small um, animal and it looks like their face is kind of small, but when we open it up, you can see on the inside that they're eating something with their great big chompers, like their teeth. So I made a cat already, and I also made a fish. So here he is with eating some smaller fish on the inside. Uh, you can do this project with any, um, any animal. You could do a person or anything like that. Um, I do have a couple examples already ready to go. Um, and then we are going to see what it is that we're gonna be making today. Here we go. It's kind of hard to reach in there. So I'm gonna look and grab, whoop. And today we are going to be making a monster. So I'm going to put these to the side. Uh, the first thing that we are going to be doing is we are going to take our paper and fold it. So as you'll see on our um, cat here, when you fold it, you can kind of see that the mouth, the top of the mouth lines up with the crease so that whatever you're having inside of its mouth, you can't see it until you open it all the way. Same thing with our fish. We have both of its lips meet up, but when you open it, then you can see his teeth and all of that. So the folding is really important and we wanna make sure we do it properly. So what we are going to do is take the top part of our paper and we are gonna be folding it so that it faces away from ourselves. So we're gonna kind of flip it this way. So I'm gonna flip it and it's gonna end up on top. Doesn't really matter how big you make it. I'm just gonna crease right here, like so. And then for the bottom part, so just the same as how we have, um, I'm gonna lay this out flat so we can kind of see the example. This is the top crease right here, top crease right here, kind of like the tippy top of a mountain. And then I'm gonna take and pinch the top of the crease of the mountain and I'm gonna bring it down like so and really press it so that it stays down. And then it's gonna look like this. So when it folds in, it'll be like this. Alrighty. Then what we are going to do is start with the outline of our monster. Uh, with a monster, it's kind of cool because you can do anything similar to um, Monsters University. They have all different shapes and sizes. So I'm going to do mine, I think like a purpley pink would be kind of cool to start off. So I'm gonna grab my purple and open it up. You can do this with pencil first. Um, I know sometimes it, it may be a little a little stressful to just start drawing without having a nice uh, template in place. I'm just gonna start drawing though because if I mess up, we'll turn it into something cool. So I'm thinking kind of a monster shape like Mike Wazowski would be kind of cool. So kind of round like this. And we're gonna make the circles kind of meet up. And I'm gonna thicken it a little bit. It's kind of a chunky monster. And we'll do that like so. Alrighty. And you can do this with any kind of paper. It doesn't matter if it's cardstock or if it's colored paper or anything like that. Um, I'm using kind of fancier markers, but you can do it with crayons, colored pencils. You can do it with any kind of markers. I like Crayola because the, the colors are really nice, um, but it's totally up to you. So now that we've done our outline, I'm gonna open it up and I'm going to take from the top crease all the way to my bottom line, I'm going to draw a line down to connect those pieces. Because once the, the thing is uh, closed up on the top, you won't be able to see what's on the inside. But when you do this, it kind of keeps the same line going. Makes it continuous and it goes it flows really nicely. So this is our monster, but when you open it up, it's gonna be like this. Now. This is really important. Like I said earlier, our crease is going to be that point where if you draw on the wrong side of the crease, it could mess up your, your art project. So you wanna make sure that the lines really match up. So I'm going to find, hmm, I will do it with this gray. And I'm going to take the top part and draw the top part of his mouth. I think we're gonna give him some big lips 
kind of similar to our fish that we did earlier. And then the bottom part, like so. And then I'm gonna connect the pieces so that you can kind of see the outline of it. So you can see these are the lips. Now, when you open it up, you'll see that we have lips like this. When we keep it closed, that's his mouth being closed. So what I'm gonna do is open it, and then I'm going to draw the same connecting lines all the way down for the mouth. And now we have a very long mouth. Now, since he's a monster, I kind of want to give him some scary teeth. So I'm gonna take my thin side and draw out some teeth like this and give him some sharp ones on the bottom. And that's that. So we have done the outline of our mouth. I kind of want to give him a face now. So because he is a monster, I think we're going to give him a couple different eyes just to make it kind of silly. So I think maybe one big eye and two smaller eyes would be kind of fun. And then what we are going to do is we are going to add in our, our pupil. Now a pupil is the black part of the eye. Um, that is going to be in the very center. And I don't like to fill in my pupils all the way. I kind of like to leave a little bit of white just so they look a little bit different. Um, it kind of gives a cartoon feel to our eyes. Kind of a cool tip. There we go. And then I wanted to give him some eyelashes, just cause everybody's got eyelashes. So we'll put those on there. Doesn't matter what planet you're from. And then I wanna give him um, the, around your pupil you have what's called your iris, which gives you the different color eyes. So we're gonna give him some blue eyes, kinda match. I have blue eyes. I think it'd be kinda cool to match it up with this color scheme we got going on here. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now he looks kind of crazy with his eye being open so wide. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this purple, which is the same color as his skin, and we are gonna give him a little bit of an eyelid because he's got some sleepy eyes. And then maybe one more here. We got our sleepy eyed monster. Okay, then we are gonna go in and add some uh, fun colors and things like that around. So I think it'd be kind of cool if we gave him some horns. One right here, one right here. Give him some, some lines on here. Make it a little interesting. And then, what we are going to do is I kind of want to find a lighter color so we can give dimension. Dimension is um, when there's a difference in your colors um, or to give a little bit of uh, maybe like a 3D effect or something like that. I just want to make it look a little bit different. So we're going to come in with this lighter pink and color in those horns. So you can see a difference in the, um, the horn with that on there. Now it doesn't look super dark, so maybe I'll come in with a purple and see how that shows up. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Kind of matches. Come in here. Great. Then what I wanted to do was to give a tongue. So we'll do it with that light, light pink. I kind of want to do a tongue like this. I think it'd be kind of fun. I tell my students over at San Marcos Elementary School, try to fill in as much white space as possible. It kind of causes you to be a little bit more creative, trying to find, well, how can I fill in this space on the outside? What backgrounds am I adding? What story am I trying to tell with my art? But then it also makes your artwork look a lot more interesting, which makes, uh, makes you a better artist overall when you're, when you're constantly challenging yourself. 
Um, I do want to color in these lips because they're looking a little, a little bland. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to leave a shine mark on his lips so you can kind of see, make it look a little bit more 3D. A shine mark, you just leave it a little white. All right, and then we'll do the same thing for the bottom. I'll make kind of a sh triangly shine mark by just leaving it uh, not colored in. Go around the lip and like so. All righty, now is the fun part, getting to decide what he's eating. I think it'd be kind of fun to do maybe um, like a piece of candy or something like that. So, I'm gonna pick out some colors that I think would work well for a candy. I think maybe um, a green and a pink would look cool. So if we did this green right here, and I color it all the way in, and then we can kind of do a wrapper on here. Okay. lollipops that have the swirls and stuff like that. Okay, and then maybe kind of outline the wrapper with this just to go with the color scheme. Okay, and there is that. Gives him kind of a mark on his tongue while we're at it. Some dimension there too. Alrighty, and then like I said earlier, we want to make sure that we try to fill in as much white space as possible. So what we are going to do now is we are going to add some colors onto our monster's body. So I will continue with the pinks and the purples that we've got. Um, we'll do some polka dots. Maybe even add in a, a green dot here and there. Kind of go with that or a blue dot to match his eyes would be kind of cool. I'm not gonna be filling in all of his uh, white space on his body because I kind of like that that color to him. However, we are going to give him some legs down here to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna give him kind of foot like this. It's kind of like a bird foot. And another foot over here. Maybe I'll give him some, some arms too. That way he'll be able to pick stuff up four fingers. But you won't be able to see those until you open it up. So it'll kind of be like, raw, And he'll look like he's uh, kind of trying to scare somebody on the inside of our crease. And then I think we should probably give him something to stand on would be good. So what we can do to add a little bit of dimension is I'll take a darker color green and outline some grass first. Squiggly lines, pointy lines, those all work great for doing grass. And then I will take a lighter color green, like this, and color it in. Some more dimension. And go around his toes. Kind of nice springtime vibes with our super colorful, he kind of looks like like an egg a little bit, like from an egg hunt. And then bring it over here, do the same thing. Okay, there's that. And then we will give him a sun over here. And then maybe we'll give a moon over here because it is another planet. So we can have both. 
kind of make it a little interesting. And that's a blue moon. They only come around every so often, so they're rare. And then maybe I'll take some orange to make my sun a little bit more colorful, like this. And then maybe give my sun a little face. Because it's outer space, we can make it whatever we want. Kind of make it creative. A little smiley face here. On our All right, and then maybe I'll give like a bird or something. Birds up here, some birds over here. And that completes our monster. So we have him like this, and when we open him up, we have his great big chompers that will eat whatever we put on the inside. Uh, please attempt this at home with your family, maybe um, your, your younger siblings or your parents, uh, grandparents, whoever you got. Um, doing this project, if you really like what you, what you did, uh, send us some pictures. I'd love you guys to email uh, anything that you've done. And then if you don't like it, I made one that I didn't like very much, but I thought it was really funny. So those would be really cool to see too. Now, if you forgot, uh, today is our spirit day. So we are wearing our crazy socks today. I did bring mine. Um, they're super long and very comfy. Uh, yesterday, we did have our Jersey day with Mr. Mondo. So if you did not do that yesterday, jump on now and, and wear your crazy socks. And then tomorrow, Miss Ari is going to be doing our pajama day as well. So make sure you're keeping up with our spirit days all this week. It's gonna be super, super fun. Take pictures of those two and send them to us. We'd love to see uh, what kinds of crazy combinations you all can come up with. Um, and that concludes our project for today for our Tinker Tuesday. Make sure that you join us again all the rest of this week and then I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you so much, bye.